uh, 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 technical difficulties. But, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, it's fine now. It works. <laughs> oh, let me just check my options here. You silly, silly audio options. We'll turn the music down a little bit. It can get a little loud. <laughs> That's what I get for updating my, uh, I have NVIDIA broadcast, which reduces um, all the background noise and cuts out like, like the, I've got an air purifier right beside me that's humming away, but you guys can't hear it because it cuts out that hum. But I updated it and then I didn't go and reselect the right source in OBS. And so I was still looking for the old virtual, um, <laughs> like microphone and it's like where where is it but no yeah. anyway it's fixed now and i can actually hear and i can actually uh see things that are going on and make sure the stream is looking good oh it does beautiful everyone welcome to the stream as uh, we have done recently we began the setup and the overall layout of the artillery base in the last episode. I have done some more work. I got all the artillery guns at least there and rotating properly. Just like, there was a bunch of technical stuff and there was, actually had to talk to DF Prakash and figure out there was actually an error in the code and it was, wasn't calculating the distances correctly and um, but now it works and so like for example if I uh, pop into here I grab a GPS and say there's the cougar camp we'll copy that to clipboard the cougar camp is right over here it is this place and it gave me this GPS when it spawned and the cougar camp is for this building right here. Well, that uh, position, I copied the coordinate to my uh, control panel. Now I can go into, um, well, it would help if I'm actually sitting in a seat or something like that. If I go to my artillery base and go into the programmable block for the artillery, and I put in that GPS coordinate into the argument and hit run. All of the guns are moving in tandem and they all face towards Cougar Camp. <laughs> and then what I can do is I can uh, choose whether or not I want to have the low angle shot, very direct, or maybe I'll uh, actually, I'll probably hit the hill if I do a low angle shot, won't I? I wonder if this actually gets over the hill and hits it. Or if I wanted to uh, do a high angle shot and uh, lob it high into the atmosphere and have it come back down over top. Although I'm not sure if the, I currently have high velocity. I'm not sure if that's the right uh, velocity to use for this particular applications uh let's see here artillery there's my space engineers artillery uh sheet for a five kilometer 5.21 i i actually need to use the uh the long velocity the sorry the, the highest velocity the max range of the medium velocity is just over 5k but it's only 500, uh, 5,160 meters. This is over 5,000 meters. So would not hit them from here. Yeah, that'll time out. Yeah, I, f I figured it would time out. So uh, we can just try out a, uh, uh, a single shot. I brought over just a tiny amount of ammo. Um, we only have in our large cargo four additional... Uh, 203s after we have uh, loaded them all into the guns. And uh, the plan today is to test this thing 
to see what it does against the cougar camp maybe find a couple other test targets before we start bombarding the enemy base and then as you can see i've put some armor all around them where we need to bring out some steel plate get all the rest of the armor placed get all this built up and uh we need to cover the uh, art the the ammo cache so that it is not going to explode when it gets hit by something and then we also have it working through the Katapachi, it being the nice targeter. So we can go and take the Katapachi on a little bit of a, uh, uh, a flight and see if we can take out uh, maybe some of the enemy's exterior guns. Like, uh, they have the guns that are on the, the two arms, like there's one there and there's one over there. Maybe we can take those out before we actually take out the enemy base. And there's a random transport courier just sitting there. Again, I'm still getting the uh, stuff coming in as neutral. I'll have to probably fix my assert installation again. But, uh, let's see. Let's see how this works with uh, the firing. So, the program says that it has settled and it is aimed. It's using 3% of CPU. Whatever that means. It's low percentage, therefore I'm happy. And uh, if we fi give it the command of open, open fire, or just open, it should start. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll do one volley. And then we'll see where this goes. So all the guns fire. We have a nice barrage heading out. We'll get rid of all the UI elements. And... Uh, We'll see where these land. Oh, there's the enemies. Oh, way long. Oh. Okay. They landed here. And Cougar Camp is one kilometer back. So I need to go back about a thousand. So if I'm not mistaken, if we go into the program, and these other programs are part of the uh, C-130, Artillery control here. And uh, in it, where is the thing here? So there's the high and low, there's the display local grid orientation, there's the open and cease. Apply an offset to the current aim location can be used to adjust aim, but then also there's like the left, right, forward, back. So I think I just need back and then a thousand. Back one thousand. And the guns adjust. Aiming settled. Ready to launch again. And I need to make sure. Good, these guns aren't going to shoot each other. <laughs> and we will fire another volley. Oh, that looks so good. There goes the things. Hey, it's Lucas in my chat. Well, hello. Transport courier could be from the Ember mod. If you want, I can DM you a command for a bug printout to see if the faction may have corrupted. Uh, sure. I think that might be kind of cool. And here we impacted right here. So, looks like back a thousand was a bit too much. Maybe we want to go forward 200 or so. Let's see how that goes. Is it that was the right command, right? Forward. Let's go check. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, forward distance. Okay, let's go forward. Yeah, it was 325 from the camera. We can just do the 300. Forward 300. See how that goes. And uh, get into spectator. Fly our way back to the artillery base. And fire! God, those look and taste good. Uh, but yes, Lucas, um, 
sure. Send me something on Discord or something like that if you should have my contact information and uh, we can talk. Oh, hey! A little overshot. The 300 was maybe too much. Maybe back 100. That should be good. So we'll go artillery back 100. Settled. And then we'll we'll see what this is like from the enemy's perspective. As the shells are in the air, right? Did they fire? Wait, where are the shells? Or did I run out of bullets? Oh no, wait, they're coming! What? That wasn't very exciting. Oh, what are you? Some random broken down base. Nice. Uh, uh, is there a way for the setup to fire one by one? Uh, I'm sure I could put them into the weapon salvo script and then activate them that way. Uh, I'm probably out of ammo. <laughs> That's probably it. Do I have any 203s left? Nope! <laughs> but it's functional. I just need to bring over a whole bunch more ammo. <laughs> yes, the guns taste good. You can f mm, it just tastes wonderful. Uh, how's it going, me? Any lucky shots yet? Yeah, not really. We're just testing out versus this abandoned enemy base. And uh, shows that when they do land at this kind of range, it gives you a uh, a nice, like, the, the area is like a good area like this. So it's not going to be super precise. But we do have a coordinate at the enemy base that we can use as the first uh, targeting. But we can also, which I will show off right now, use the Kanapachi to be a targeter as well. So if I just hop in the Kanapachi and we just pull her up, get off the ground here. I flip into my third control thing here. And I go, hmm... Where's my enemy? Where could they be? Aha! They're over there! On that ridge line! And I make sure my my spectator camera is ready to look. Oh! Look at that! All the guns automatically move at the press of a button. Uh, the howitzers are small grid weapons, so you can put them on your ships but I'm currently using them as a static position to uh, uh, make the artillery base. What we can do is do like that, aim at the uh, enemy base location, and adjust, and get ready to shoot at it. <laughs> but for now, I think we should just uh, land ourselves. And uh, we'll take the C-130, head back, and we just need to get a bunch of resources. Because I'm going to show you guys the, the planned upgrades I have for this artillery base that we're going to do in uh, today's episode. No, they're on a turret. It's a rotor thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a custom uh, rotor turret, essentially, that uses... Uh, artillery like ballistics calculations to fire very long distances which when they said that they were going to put artillery about back when they were doing warfare 2 and they said oh yeah we're going to add the artillery gun this is exactly what i thought they were going to add was going to be something that can uh arc towards the enemy where they added what was essentially just a just a giant turret. It wasn't actually a indirect fire. It was a direct fire thing. Just with a little bit of drop. Sure, you had to aim up at like, say, 20, 30 degrees in order to shoot 
the full, full distance um, uh, on Earth-like, but it uh, is not shoot over a hill sort of indirect, which I was sad. But we shall leave the artillery for now. We shall head back to base. There are a few enemies out there. We must be... Uh, must be uh, cautious of. We can't really fly past that assert operations at post anymore. And I actually think right now we need to uh, bonk a few trees down. I need a place to land, so I need these trees gone so I can actually come in for a landing. We're pulling a splitsy. We're bonking down trees with our with our rover plane thing. <laughs> Whack that tree. Make a second runway? Oh, hell no. That runway took way too long to build. I'd just rather do, uh... Yeah, Trino side. Just kill all the trees! But yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a static weapon within uh, Northwind. The uh, 203 artillery. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Tree! The tree got revenge! <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? what the hell was that? <laughs> it's like Clang just is like, hey! Hey! Quit killing all the trays! Oh, God. Alright, this should be enough trees cleared out as soon as I turn around here. Uh, I don't see any damage on my... I thought maybe a little bit on my nose cone. But we'll see when I get back. I'm still airworthy, so that's all that really matters. Alright, there we go. That's enough of a clearing for me. Get off, tree. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you up if you stick around like that. Let's head on home. I literally have a tree on my wing. Oh, it's dissolving. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. And it's so loud. RIP headphone users, including me. And we'll head back. So, uh, as this is flying straight and good, we don't need to worry about... I don't think we need to worry about elevation here. So, I can just let that fly. Uh, you can see here I've already s started setting up just a little bit of armor around the conveyors just so that it uh, is a little bit stronger. I'm thinking I'm going to wrap this armor up over top and uh, just secure these sort of branches. And then here I'm going to make sort of like a tiny little cockpit area with maybe a door, I'm not sure. And oh, it's shooting at the thing. I should probably not fly towards whatever that is. <laughs> oh, well, this is also exciting. Let's just uh, <laughs> get back over here. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of is off of the, um, the ends like this right here, I'm thinking of extending this out like another five or ten blocks and putting sea whiz 
so that I can defend against some enemy missiles and enemy drones. Um, I think that should be enough. Yeah, if I go like there, that's three blocks. If I go five blocks out, it'll be like right there. And then, put see whiz. It shouldn't be in the way of any of the artillery uh, function. So it should be more than good. There is a... Some kind of tower near my base. My base is 6k and it's 9k away. Uh, should make a B-29 super fortress. Use it as your air combat craft. I have looked at trying to do that. It It's a good idea to have like a giant, heavily armored ton of turrets on it plane so that uh, you can uh, just basically fly it around, not have to worry about any enemy drones that come towards you. <sighs> I'll have to think about that. I might have to design something, because this is way too lightly armored to uh, to do that sort of roll. It really should just be a... Uh, Cargo plane. Oh, one second here. Yeah, it's just a lookout tower. I wonder if the flak tower has a uh, a line on it. Ah, oh, we'll see when we land. Coming on in here, take manual control. And line up on uh, the glorious runway. Touchdown. Ah, perfectly in the center. God, I love this runway. I still need to do stuff with this uh, Comet and Transport Courier. We can work on that today as well. But, uh, I don't think I actually need to park up here. Do I need gasoline? Basically, do I need to refuel? <laughs> 69%. Nice. Uh, I should have more than enough to uh, fuel myself for at least this episode. So, we're going to hippity hop off the edge here. And. Put ourselves in a position where we can get easy access to our resources. And I think one of the things I want to do is take over a load of ammo first. Make a super marauder, double size, big guns. I was thinking about it. I currently have the marauder, but I was thinking about making something bigger than that. But I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it, if you know what I mean. Like, at some point, the series is going to end, and I'd like that to be relatively sooner than later, because I feel like I've exhausted what uh, Industrial Overhaul has to offer. But I could have, like, a large sort of, like, Marauder 2 sort of thing for a future series. Uh, can I blueprint my main factory? No! <laughs> I'm evil that way. I, uh... I'll just leave it as is. You can, uh... Recreate it. I still need to make the factory pretty. 
it's it's very not pretty right now. Uh, d can I actually connect? Uh, yes, it says I can. All right. Uh, yeah, but connection. Uh, season five is gonna come sometime this spring. I'm not sure exactly when, but sometime. <laughs> season five is coming from the guy who is designing it <laughs> right there he's like oh god don't remind me how much work I have to do we're kind of also waiting for the next space engineers update because I had it during this series where I did an update like the I did a, the series and partway through there was an update and it worked the series if you remember I had to uh, like semi restart and I'm kind of wanting to wait until the next update comes out wait till all the mods are stable with the new update and then go uh, okay we should have enough, uh, you know, time to do an actual full series before the next update comes out. But yeah, just like uh, Gnome is saying in the chat, he's the one that's putting it together. Um, custom planets, custom NPCs, custom star system. It's going to be uh, realistic thrust. So you have to balance your ship so it's not like one-sided. Like, you know in Space Engineers, how if I was going to take this, and if I just put a thruster on, like, one... Like, I just put a bunch of thrusters do -do 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 straight out on one side of it, the whole thing would fly flat. Well, obviously that doesn't work in real life. So you would actually have to balance your thrust around your center of weight. I'm going to do that for the next season, along with real orbits. So you actually have to get up to speed in order to orbit. It's going to be great. I'm so excited for it. Um, I got a bunch of other stuff here in these medium car containers, but I don't really want to empty them all. Uh, let's go just here. Let's just go 203s. And let's hide empty here. No, wait, just look at this. This ship. This ship. There we go. So. There's the 203s. And I don't. Ah, uh, it's gonna get pulled out. Okay, I need to eventually figure out how to uh, deal with this because this is annoying. Um, Izzy, how? What do I do if I want something to not lock, locked, locked? Okay, so I can go medium for this grid. medium cargo and it's all these ones and I'm just gonna lock them all because I don't want to deal with this right now <laughs> so now I should be able to go to medium locked and that should be my grid yes and then I can go 203s and I can fill them up with ammo, and the ammo should stay in them, right? Let's take what, what ammo we can. And they are perfect, wonderful. And I'll clean up these resources later. But I just want to see if I can do a full load of ammo there. It's going to be heavy. Ugh. Oh, right, I should put on my engines, so I actually have some power. Come on, plane. Why do you not have power, plane? Blech. Engines are on. Grid is offline for some reason.
engines. No power. They have no fuel in them. No power. Oh, oh this thing needs a kickstart. Do I have a battery on here? No, I don't. Fucking hell. So, essentially what that, what I just did is that the engines give me my power, but they need power in order to have the fuel transferred to them. So, I need to kickstart this thing by giving it a tiny bit of power, just so that the little bit of fuel can transfer so that you can start up the engines. Yeah, just like a real plane, I need an APU. I need a tiny little bit of power, so I just need a little battery of some kind. Um, but these don't come with power. The little acid batteries do, though. Because that's all I need. I think I still should have the uh, stuff for an acid battery. Yeah. This little guy can stay on the, the ship, and we can just toggle it into recharge, and then it can just be my little starter battery. There we go. What's happening now? We just figured out why my plane wouldn't start, and now we are heading back to the artillery base with an absolute plane load of uh, artillery shells to fill it up. Uh, next, we're going to come back and grab a bunch of steel plate and finish building up parts of the the artillery base. Ow, it took out that tree. Can I get altitude here? Come on, baby. Climb. Climb. Uh, completed as in it functions and it fires, but it is uh, a work in progress. There you go, girl. That's it. Climb out. Ah, oh, beautifully heavy. And 14 kilometer flight. Real short little hop. Ah. So, what was that tower over here? Is it something I need to be concerned of? No. It's just a tiny little tower. Oh, yeah. I do have the, uh, the Jado thrusters. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm spectating. I got these bad boys for, uh, emergency situations. Watching videos lately. I want to get back into SE, but don't want to spend the rest of my life on it. Yeah. Space Engineers is the second most played game I have on my Steam account. Uh, uh, why am I not using my uh, thrusters? I didn't think that I needed it. They're only for like emergency situations where it's like I have to get off the ground right now or uh, I'm going to die sort of things. Those kind of situations where it's like, oh shit, uh, enemy is coming. I need to GTFO. My number one play game is Warframe. Uh, I'll take a look at the numbers. Um, God, what is my numbers here? Uh, Space Engineers on my library is at 2,345 hours. So... 2,345.3 hours, and Warframe is at 2,504.4 hours. So I have an extra 150 hours in Warframe. Uh, I think the next highest is 1,767 hours in MechWarrior. Warrior. <laughs> And the fun part, uh, at Warframe, it's like 2,500. 
somewhere around there. 2,500 hours. It's my turn my brain off and just farm a survival for an hour um, mentality game. Warframe it is. Just sort of go, oh, I don't want to think anymore. Load up an unkillable frame, grab an overpowered weapon, go and do a mission for an hour just without thinking. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the memes? Yeah, the tree. There was a tree that tried to uh, clang my plane into oblivion. Uh, I can't remember how far into the stream it was. Maybe, what are we at now? We're at 40 minutes, so maybe like 15 minutes ago? Coming on in for a landing. We have a really horrible glide slope because we're a giant cargo plane with a whole bunch of materials. But, we can kill our downward velocity. And... Level out. Pitch up at the last minute flare. And bounce. Woo! Bounce! There we go. Landed. Excellent. So we should be able to do is when we plug in, the gun should all rip some ammo. Park. And there should be the mediums. So these will be locked and these will be the large. The large car container here. Not on this ship, this one. And we can just transfer over all the 203s. I mean, honestly, right now we can also just transfer over all this excess uh, as much as we can. Some of the stuff doesn't travel through the uh, the large pipes. No, Ugh, it doesn't work. I'll have to clean these stuff out manually. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, for a lot of these suggestions of what I should build, uh, I'm thinking of doing them in the next season. Because, I, from my understanding, there's going to be planets and such with water on them in the next season. So I'm going to have to build everything. Planes, boats, spacecraft, rovers. And so something like an aircraft carrier would be useful on a water-only planet. Okay, no damage. <laughs> Actually backed into the catapache. Ah, shit. Okay. All right, let's go back, get some steel plate. <laughs> orbital insertion boat. Just like orbital boat. It'd be like space battleship Yamato. Am slightly sleep deprived? Maybe, I don't know. I'm a, I'm, I'm a silly person. How long have I been live? Ah, uh, 45 minutes or so? Yeah, about that. Alright. Got to respond to something. Ah! 
that? What am I shooting at? The heck? Oh, there's something there. Uh, there it is. There we go. Imber Defense Forces connected. I think they might have uh, noticed that I'm doing uh, something. They might be uh, planning something. But hopefully, it's not uh, going to happen. <laughs> I don't want to die. Uh. Oh, am I running on a route? Oh, there we go. And uh, uh, who's the AI I played by? There will be uh. There will be credits at the end of the season of the people that are helping me be the uh, pretend to be bad guys and put up a good uh, fight. They are doing an excellent job and uh, they will get credit at, in the season finale. Outpost. I should shoot that thing. The Assert Operations Outpost. Uh, carrier type Amphibious Land Crawler. Imagine... Yeah, yeah, actual person. Uh, imagine this. You know, like, um, Homeworld Deserts of Karak? Karak? Karaks? Karaks? Whatever it is. Um, just imagine one of those giant land ships but can also go in the water and become a uh, a ship. I think that would be amazing. As like a, a mega build for uh, some kind of watery planet. Yeah, we can totally hit that operations outpost, I think, from from my base. Let's see. Uh, artillery base. Ah, nope. Too, too far away. It's 11 kilometers. I can only shoot uh, 10. Running over the trees? We can put it in space engineer section. Uh, what do I think in Genshin Impact? I think it's a... I never really understood the game, played it for a little bit. I got that there was combos and stuff, but I never really figured out how to level up my gear properly. Um, I think it's a great waifu generator, like just be like, hmm, I'm gonna, this character is my waifu and I want to uh, spend a bunch of money to get a cool skin or whatever. It's just a gotcha game. It's just so you spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars so that you uh, pull the your favorite waifu. <laughs> hey, there we go. Perfection landed. Off the edge. Boom. Very good. Boom. All right, might do. I think I actually might do some work on the the AC one thirty here. I think what I'm gonna do is retrofit the. Uh, cockpit a little bit. Uh, mobile artillery ship. I did consider it, but I thought the static one would be kind of cool. And, uh, oh, fuck, I hit my thing. Um, we'll just be using that one this season. I'll probably use the mobile later. I'll put it on some sort of, like, drop ship that I can, like, land, become artillery, and then pick up and leave later. Uh, one second. Stand. Ah, 
I'm back. Okay. You didn't see anything. I may or may not have to uh, do something administratively um, in the background. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need my build and repairs for the factory. Uh, I need to see where they are. Where's your area? Uh, your area is... There. Okay. Your area needs to move back. Uh, is there forward? Yeah, it needs to move 30 forward, I think it is. And that covers a better area. And then... Da, 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 da. Vert? No, not vertical offset. Which direction horizontal? This way horizontally. Okay, so let's just do, say, 30 horizontally. Alright, we should be good. That should cover the plane. <laughs> oh no, Shadow West figured it out! <laughs> Direct! They discovered my nefarious techniques. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn off the engines. This thing is going to go power off, but that is okay. It's going to be quiet, right? Quiet. So loud in this thing. <laughs> it's so loud in this plane. Oh, well. What I'm thinking of is I want to be able to transfer large components in and out of this plane because it is getting kind of annoying to manually load stuff. So, I'm thinking of doing this. These conveyors, 45s, to a center conveyor that comes back and then I literally have a connector sticking out the back of my butt so that I can back up to certain things and connect to it and then I can deposit and withdraw large loads that sounds so bad when I say it that way but it functions <laughs> bop bop and then this would be a T A T? I have a T somewhere in here, don't I? Where is the T? Seriously? Where's the T junction? Oh, I guess the T junction doesn't exist. Alright, it's just a, a, a junction like that. And then it's gonna be a. Uh. Uh. Tube. Tube, tube, tube. Uh, I'm thinking two more tube. Tube, tube. Main connector? I think I can overhang whatever I'm going to, uh, I can overhang a little bit, right? Like, let me take a look at my, uh, base over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, where is it? If I overhang this connector, I can overhang it by about, say, three blocks before I start hitting things. So... If we take a look at the plane, uh, three large grid blocks, that is. It could be like bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah. We'd be, we'd be lapping. We'd be fine. Although, I could just put another one in. Just for safety. And then a connector at the end, so that now we can connect stuff up to the butt, and we can have uh, a plane load of cargo. Although this is gonna oh shit, 
This is going to affect our ability to, to take off. We need to change this. We're not going to be able to rotate Inventory properly. Full. We need to make this hinged. <laughs> this is going to be the ultimate silliness. Uh, boom. We need to hinge our butt. One. Hey! This grid needs power. Oh, and uh, I think I need to turn the. Yeah, yeah, and off the stock out before this one's out of power again. Yeah, this 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 plane man has been my workhorse this season. I couldn't have done anything without this plane. Uh, hinge three by three. Go to your lower limit is zero. Upper limit is say thirty. Uh, positive. Thank you. Come on. Get a little more... <laughs> a little more erect for me, please. I need to stick some more on the end. Ah, there we go. Conk. Okay. Oh, and it grabbed onto the freaking mag plate that's up there! <laughs> It's perfect! <laughs> the current angle is 19. Okay, so the max you can go is 20. This is perfect! Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go plug in our, our giant plane cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, I see the notifications in my Discord of somebody posting and pinging me in the general Space Engineers chat. I know it's the meme. Oh god. <laughs> Tree flu is just for fun. Oh, nice. All right, so now we can turn our butt around and get ready for the uh, butt plug action into the factory. <laughs> first, first thing I hear when I come back, let's go plug in our airplane cock. <laughs> Oh god. I'm sorry people. I I'm I'm a degenerate. I know. Okay. That's going to be plugged in there. We need to it's actually probably going to be over on this side. I need to figure out where the right place to do this is and it's going to be right here off of one of these. Cuz these bad boys are connected together. And if I'm not mistaken, there is n is there underneath connections or are they just to the side uh, is there connections under you no just the side so right here it's gonna be right here coming out this block that one there inventory full all right and then we need to get rid of inventory this thing full. and we need to replace this with a uh, T. And then a uh, straight. When I have steel plate. Pause it. Draw some stuff. And. Bum, bum, bum. And let's go maneuver the plane to see if its butt plug is at the right height. Oh, oh, getting onto the plane is going to be... Oh! Making it so hard to get in. There we go. I should... I wonder if I should change the door to be here. Or at least add a door to this, this spot. What? 
what is through the wall at this point? Nothing. Okay, we can cut through the wall here. And we can add a door in this spot. Right there. That'll be good. need another block. Left or right here? I think this block. I'm glad I could give you such merriment while I'm uh, playing Space Engineers. I need a lunar plate. It's not the average game where you go like, yeah, that game is so funny. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to uh, uh, do that for you. Uh, why is there a camera? That camera is there for um, operating the flight controls and such. So you can set the... I'm also going to um, flatten this out slightly. You can set the autopilot to um, fly around a certain thing by setting that up. So if I got on that camera and I looked through it and I clicked on something, the plane would then automatically f uh, fly a circle around that target, allowing my turrets to blast the ever-loving hell out of it. And that's what I set it up for. forward and then we're going to reverse back lining up with where this construction is going to go right there and we'll finally be able to transfer construction materials over to this thing uh, quickly. I don't have to spend another like 20 minutes in an episode manually loading the C-130. <laughs> uh, get the porch pirates? Yeah, yeah. Totally. It's there for porch pirates. Uh, while, you're f you're, while you're flying at altitude, there's porch pirates that steal your stuff. Uh, we will reverse this hinge, and then we can, uh, c build vision! Wait, wait, oh, it's not even on. Unlock. There we go. And then connector on there. Back it up. Uh, do I need my... My prehensile... Thing a little bit longer? Or do I just need to reverse my hinge right now? Oh! Oh, it's... it's it, it was close. It was close. It was close. Um, let's see. My hinge. I maybe need to uh, upper limit of 20. Maybe I can do an upper level of 10. Hey, that works. Look at that. Oh, it's not getting it because it's on a separate grid. Um, connector. Luck. Boom! Hey! Excellent! So, now what I can do is go to my medium cargo containers. 
uh, on this grid. Medium locked. And I can go to large cargo of the base here. And I can transfer stuff. Oh my god. That feels so good. And now what I can do is steel plate. And I can easily transfer over just tons of steel plate. Hells to the yes! Look at that! We have a full load of steel plate ready to go and work on the base. That connector, I don't know which one it is. Uh, my it's getting stuck. I can't try to lift off. Yeah, yeah. the plane is just bouncing up and down on this connector. Uh, I gotta get a good angle for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright, I gotta figure out what connector that is. I can't... S I don't know which one it is on my uh, control panel. Uh, this connector... But... And we're gonna take the... We're gonna unlock... We're gonna unlock butt. There we go. So I have issues? I definitely do. Alright, we'll pull forward. There we go. And that... Uh, should be enough up that I don't have to worry about it smacking the ground. When I'm trying to take off. Uh, although I am gonna pull beside the uh, the factory here one more time just to get that door that's to my left built up. Although I guess I don't really need to build it up. It's just an open hole. It'll be fine. Uh, how heavy am I? 350,000. Uh, ooh. Ooh. There's stuff happening. Man, this is Eagle Eye. I have eyes on the hostile base. Oh. Am I in the shield right now? I'm not. Okay, I should definitely move back into the shield. Alright, let's move in. Let's uh, get ourselves in cover. Just so that the plane doesn't blow up. And park. Okay. Uh, let's get out. There's an enemy coming in. the best thing for this. I got my binoculars. Sir, the goggles, they do nothing. Ah, it's too far away. It's outside of render range. God, my, my sim speed's tanking. It's only 0.8. Ah! Oh, this is also a sky factory up there. Although it looks like that's a bunch of neutral signals. And, uh... Kind of broken. It's the stealth technology of not rendering within three kilometers. By three and a half, I think it is. Oh, and also... Magic. Make it daytime again. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I can't uh, see it, and it hasn't come within range yet, so none of the guns are activating. It might just stay out of range. But, 
It is some sort of uh, spy craft, it is. Oh. At least the shields are online. Everything's powered up and connected, so I'm not too terribly concerned. Oh, wait, this is... Why are you not connected? Oh, wait, now you are. The heck? Oh, is it just because I hadn't loaded that uh, particular thing yet? If I go over here, is this lying in a pier? Yeah, it does. Silly thing. Uh, let me check. Okay, still got 82% hydrogen. It's 3.8 away. Let me get a little bit closer here and see if I can get at least a spot on it. Get it within render range. Come on. There it is. Within render range. Oh, just for a second. Now it's gone again. It was a plane of some kind. It was some kind of plane. So they're just doing a flyover. Taking a peek at the base. Well, let's grab some food and water and some hydrogen. And uh, head back over to uh, building the... Uh, Artillery. I'm going to get rid of all my spare materials here. I'll go grab some water. I'll grab 20 each. And hydrogen tank. There we go. Uh, I mean, it could shoot it down, but... The thing's already four kilometers up. And looking like it's going at pretty decent click. So by the time I got up and got up to speed and got up to altitude, they'd have seen me coming and there's no way I would have caught it. Like, the entire, like you're saying, like a U2, U2 spy plane there in chat, the entire concept behind those spy planes and such was that, is that oh. if there was an interceptor, ow, that hurt, um, the interceptor literally could not catch up to the the plane that was already at altitude and at speed. So the 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 U2's defense was the fact that it was way the heck up there. So I don't think I can actually get that. But what I can do is continue setting up the artillery. Which we can go with our our plane dick here and head on over and transfer a whole bunch of materials. Actually, I don't need to transfer them anymore over there. I just need to have my building repairs um, go to town. But... Thick off here. And this, I'm going to use the, uh, the rockets. Come on, baby. There we go. Because that was a little heavy. But, they see, it's, it's two kilometers above me right now. It'd be able to bug out before I could even get close. Let's just head for artillery base and uh, route automatically. Ink drone threat. Incoming drones? I had two there flashing on my screen. Who's sending drones? The dangerous Ember encounters don't function, so they're not relevant. The asserts 5k away. I don't think it would be sending drones. Uh, how many seawas? I can't really install any seawas right now because I just have steel plate. This is to get the armor uh, shaping and get everything like that into position and put the, the structure in place. And then the... Uh, 
next flight out will be all of the um, components to build turrets and such. Going for an hour and 15 minutes. Nice. The Ember Scout be sending suicide drones? I don't think so. If you just look at it up there, it's just a plane, right? I mean, we can get out and look at it. Actually, we can do that right now. We could conceivably let the plane fly for a second. And it is literally just a plane. Benefit of having autopilot, ability to get out and look. <laughs> Engine jump scare. I know they're so loud. One of my wish lists for space engineers is that they have like fuel cells instead of engines because holy shit they're loud. Or realistically, in the audio settings, there's no way that a game in 2023 should have just music and sound as their two audio options. Under sound, there should be about 10 different things that, like, they have voice chat. There should be all these different engines and tools and all this kind of stuff sounds that they would need for them. We need all the stuff. Uh, oh, a DD-725. What the hell? I'm going... F I'm is that heading towards me? I can't tell because I'm flying towards it. But it looks like it's something. Hopefully it doesn't notice my artillery base. At least that's all we can hope. And turn off the engines so that I can... Uh, Come in for a glide here. Permission to engage. Oh no! I am not set up for a fight right now. I need to land. I'm heavy. I am so heavy. Oh good, they're just gonna surveil me. There's no way I'd have any maneuverability in a fight like this. Uh, oh, long. Oh, that was a bit of a belly landing, but we survived. What the hell? Okay, I need to land this thing real quick. What? What is that out in the water? Enemy artillery position spotted. Oh no, they spotted it! Okay. It's it's working on the base. We can just leave the uh, C-130 here. What is this thing? Oh no! It's an enemy patrol ship. Please don't fire on me. <laughs> it's moving way too fast for me to target with these artilleries. Uh, I can, all I can do is hope that it leaves. Same thing for you, silly eagle eye. Get out of here. Why is there a boat right here? Oh, go away! <laughs> I don't have any defenses yet! That's the point! I was in the middle of building them! It's... I... I... Uh, it's... I gotta recalculate! I'm set up on high velocity right now! I don't know my artillery tables off the heart! Ah. Let's see! Okay. Oh, 
Okay, it's moving. Okay, it's going. Where is it going? Also, there's the eagle eye. We can get another look at that. Uh, where to go? Uh, da, da, uh. Okay, it's out of render range now. I can't manual control these things. It's not a thing for the artillery script. Where is this boat going? Okay, I think I need to get airborne. The plane is currently um, indisposed. Sounds like a design flaw. <laughs> Well, <laughs> fine. We are airborne. It reminds me, did I ever put any ammo in this thing? This all cannon's got a few things. Oh yeah, I've got some ammo. Okay, I'm good. Where is that boat going? Uh, I could add a shield, but that would require a whole lot more infrastructure here for uh, um, power. So I'm not really thinking about that. I gotta keep an eye on this boat. I don't know where it's going. And I kind of don't want to uh, be caught flat footed. Eli is still above me. I think it'd be best if we just. Maybe headed back in this kind of patchy and we grabbed like the Warthog or something? Because... I know we're not the fastest here. We're gonna get one of the uh, forward thrusters overridden so we can just have some constant forward velocity. Activating defenses, oh shit! Ugh. We gotta, we gotta get back to base. Five kilometers. Wait, what's the range on my um? I have assault cannons, right? What did they fire out to? Forget. Uh, shift G, right? No, what, what, what's the, the thing when you're in a com cockpit? Control G? <laughs> yes! You can bring up the, the thing and then you can look at your, uh, your build menus. Salt cannon, maximum range 1400, eh? Alright. Uh, control G, back to normal. is not moving away from me and not moving towards me, but I'm going 46 meters a second. So it is, it is literally following me in the exact same speed. Okay, I need to go faster. I need to get back to base quicker. We need full power here. I do have 69% uh, of my battery. Nice. Um, so we have plenty of uh, flight time. But it looks like this thing's sailing up the... Sailing up the straight. Looks like it's going to be attacking my... Or at least going past my base. Maybe not directly attacking. Probably the Eagle Eye spotted it. And now they're sending in the... Uh, this DD-725 to uh, investigate. 
All right, one second here. I got it. Oh, I got the wrong menus open. Ah, okay, there we go. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm slowly, ever so slowly getting further and further away from it. Okay, good. Quickly, it's got a patchy as slow as shit. <laughs> uh, ground level defenses, your bases, uh, kind of the the flak tower can and will shoot at stuff that is in the distance on the ground, but once you get underneath the flak tower, I don't have anything. Uh, like I don't have any like naval turrets specifically, my. Uh, so that to defend against enemy boats because I didn't think I was going to be an issue um hello did I did you miss much um a lot of uh plain dick jokes it was it was the C-130 gone sexual you missed a lot actually you kind of need to go and uh go walk to that later <laughs> Enemy aircraft detected on an air search radar. Come on. I need to get home. Uh, Eagle eye. It's so high up in the air. I can't get it from here. But we are just about home. We managed to beat it home. That's good. Uh, we'll come back in here. Turn that one thruster off of override. We don't need it anymore. And we'll just dive down. God, I love how much, how well this thing performs. It's so nice. Space here. Pitch up. Hey! Hey, you little turret, stop shooting at me. Stupid salvage turret, still think it's still think it's one of the enemy. And uh we'll hook around and hover within the bubble. We are ready and willing to fight. Although, dudes, I need to go turn that turret off. If it's just going to be shooting random uh, interior um, at me, I need to stop it. Come on. in the head when I'm alive. You! You, you damn turret! What's your issue? You're me! Why are you shooting at me? Frickin thing? Transport interior turrets off! Okay. 6.73 kilometers away the destroyer plane still buzzing around I think what we could do when I fly through the cables they disconnect oh no they're right here I just need to fly closer to this thing the cables have no uh, physical um, structure to them it's just they're not rendering unless you're close probably like a lag thing But we do have missiles and artillery shells on this kind of patchy. I think we go and introduce this uh, 
towards the ship over here to uh, our various bits of goodies that we have. Once we're within 5k, we can launch a volley of missiles at them. Let's see what our defenses is like. Uh, good, we're that. That's shooting the assault cannons once, shooting the missiles once. We should be good. gonna get just inside of five kilometers maybe about 4.8 or so and then we're gonna unleash all right we're there we're hovering target is acquired we're going to aim up a little bit so your missiles get a better arc. Fire. Right. No, didn't work. Fire, damn it! What the hell? Kind of patchy missiles. Shoot on off. Shoot! Wait, why are you not working? Stupid missiles? On! Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's why. Oh, this base is gonna intercept some, you bastards. Don't shoot down my missiles. They're for this destroyer over here. Where are my missiles? Somewhere in here. Oh, there they are. They're all blowing up on... It's... Anti-missile defense. Ah, oh, nothing got through? A full volley? Well, that was pretty much my best plan. I really don't want to get close to that thing because I look at it. There's no way I'm getting close to this. It'll just shred me. I'm in a freaking helicopter. Um, eh. let's go back to base. <laughs> Retreat! Uh, advance in the opposite direction! <laughs> this uh, is not the uh, best the device for uh, fighting an enemy capital ship. I need something a bit bigger. <laughs> Braves have got a chance to run away. That is what went my through my head when I uh, started running away. Oh god, if I could capture the, the ship, it would be amazing. I doubt I would be able to. Alright, let's... Whoa! Hello! The Eagle Eye came into range. Landing eagle eye, I can't watch. Okay, I gotta get down pretty quick so I can watch the uh, eagle eye get blown up. There we go. We're we're down. <gasps> it's been destroyed. Oh, it's a, actually, it's a really cool looking plane. It's, it's 
still have thrust? Is it still tr fly? Oh, it looks like it's got some internal thrusters and such. But the 203s are pounding it. And I don't believe it's going to get anywhere out of here. Also, there's random bits in it that are being shot up by the 30 millimeters. And oh, yeah, it's done. All right. Well, I engaged them. I guess they're gonna retaliate now. Oh God. Okay. Helicopter is on the ground safe. It's good enough for now. We can reload his missiles later. Eagle Eye is down. I need to check my ammo counts. We just spent a good, good amount of ammo there. Bonk my head on there. I have to get up this. How am I doing? Uh, 203. I got 738. Got lots of cerium. Come on, what's that? Uh, that's my depleted uranium. I got plenty of normal C30. I only got 400, 100 millimeters. Okay, do I need stuff here? Uh, this grid ammo. Is that what it is? It's CRAM instead of CRAM? I thought it was specifically CRAM, but I don't know. Uh, okay, that's we used a fair amount of ammo. We do have some railgun shells, but we should check to see what we've got. 75 millimeter. Can you make me an extra bit of those, please? Thank you. Uh, 203s. What are you missing? I need iron, nickel, gunpowder, cobalt. This grid. Ores. Iron. I need iron. I got nickel, cobalt, gunpowder. I need iron on this grid. I need to transfer a load of iron over. Uh, cargo. Iron. Ingot. Enemy installation is is in sight. Uh, as a main threat or a bystander, uh, HQ Easy Lie has been destroyed. Oh shit! They know. They know. I may or may not need to emergency dispatch the Marauder here in order to take out their boat. Side target is secondary, not main threat. Ooh. Uh, cool. The iron got pulled out. So now these munitions factories should be going to town, making me ammo, right? Production. Any of the random munitions factories for like the 100s. Yeah, it's going to town making waving 100s. Cool. Uh, we'll do one more load of uh, iron over there. And then we can uh, jet over and take a look at the Eagle Eye. Love. 
There we go. This and iron. Who's this ore? Oh, that must be just the ore I just transferred over. I'm silly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. I probably need to go. Holy shit. Uh. Okay. That happened. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that happened. Yeah, rip connector, that's for sure. Or connector. There probably some other was some other stuff back there. Mm, yeah, block or two got broken. It'll get fixed in a moment here. Hooray for uh, repair projectors. I'll set that to repair in a moment here, once I've, uh, transferred the rest of this iron over. Ow. <laughs> I'm certainly treating this, uh, iron with, uh, great care. That's for sure. Uh, large cargo. There we go, 300,000 iron over there more than enough for uh, this base. Lug this thing back in. And turn on the repair projector. And let that get repaired while I go and uh, check out the Eagle Eye. Oh! I died here. Small cargo container. Nothing in it. Oh, the cockpit. Drop anything? No, just all the gyros. Oh, it had a bunch of downwards rocket launchers. Oh! Shit! Bombs. Also, gauging enemy insulation. Oh god, hopefully that's not my RD base. Doesn't look like they're near the RD base. Right? My RD base is safe. Yeah, it's gotten pretty built up. I think my it's nice and safe. Uh, what are they doing? They've got a few enemies here. What are they engaging with? Engaging enemy installation in the fleet ops. I don't know who they're attacking right now. 
Or they attack in this base? My arty? I don't know. Um, let's see. This thing is rocket launcher. I need left three. Needs some more. I'm out of, I'm out of missiles. I'm out of missiles. Okay, fine. Don't need them. Uh, as long as I got some uh, ammo on board, I'm good. We'll uh, disconnect from the base. Check this. Got ammo. I have fuel. We have 18 nuclear fuel with uh, a fair amount in store as well. Why is this all in the connector? Just put in the damn reactor already. I have three and a half thousand nuclear fuel. There we go. Ah, uh, we got pistons, reverse, mag plates, unlock, unpark. Wait till my shield gets online fully here, but we can get up and uh, in the air in the meantime. Like the ore processing? Is that what they're going after? That neutral base? There is this neutral base between us. It could be what they're attacking instead of me. I don't know. Well, only thing I can do is get in the air and defend if I need to. There's a lot of signals around here. A lot going on in my neck of the woods. I'm gonna force a reload on my gun, make sure we're all good. You know, we're gonna get some altitude. Gun test fire. Good, good. We're ready to fire. And we're just waiting for the shield to charge. Shield is at 19... 9%. Shit, that's going to take a while to charge. Um, <laughs> at least the shield is up. Oh, oh, flashes there. Explosions down at the fact the ore processing facility. Yeah, they're they're bombarding it. Try another attack run here with missiles. I'm not, I, I doubt it would get through because they have pretty good missile defense, but I can at least try. Oh, one of the missiles is damaged. That's why it's not showing up. And then I can turn away. Go in and watch their... Uh, whoa! Whoa! They're shooting at the incoming missiles. Their lasers are on oh, the missiles didn't even track properly. They're just flying over top. Silly missiles. 
thought I told you to frickin' track. Are you even gonna turn? Yeah, you're turning. But only a tiny bit! Oh my god, missiles! What are you doing to me, man? Ugh. Useless, I say. Useless! Well, there's some shots coming in at me. I mean, I can point straight at it, but I did that last time and the missiles didn't really do it properly either. Ah! Oh, jeez, ow. Oh, that hurts. Okay, retreat. I cannot take this with this plane. <laughs> I'm not kamikazing my nice plane into that. Uh, okay. Shield. Check on it here. Still a 9%. <laughs> but I did. I was charging for a while and then it dropped down. Ugh. Because they took, I took some hits. Uh, I do have it set up with the um, the enhancer and such. For the modulator is full kinetic project protection, so it would be good against their artillery. But the downside is that they're I'm so light. I'm such a light plane. When their artillery hits me, it literally causes me to like bounce bounce around, and I can't fly straight. And so I'm likely to crash just from that, even if they don't get through my shields. But the uh, the Marauder can take it. I need to um, station the Marauder over by the artillery base anyway, for to give it some protection and uh, to set it up for the uh, the final attack anyway. So why don't we just move the Marauder over now? Successful landing. Uh, the Sky Factory's still up there. Although I don't know if it would be nice to me. I can't get to it. I'd have to take one of these other things like the Comet or something in order to get to it. I'll see if it's there at the end of the stream. I'm just going to park up the, uh, the Warthog and get the Marauder moving. Should have plenty of fuel. Um, we get the pistons first. We'll just leave that there. It's got this thing is like thousands of nuclear fuel, so I don't have to worry about charging it. Uh, uh, okay, let's see. You are two or threes. What do you got? 766? Probably fine. We're moving. Uh, did you lose the decoy in the port wing? Yep. What mod do you use for the NPC Amber and what else? Um, there's a cert. I can't remember their all names. There's Imber. There's um, the Agress at War stuff, which is the ROS. And uh, those guys. I'll take a look at the different factions here and such. Assert, Desiderator, Imber, Incon, Marine Pirates, Parallax, 
Um, they're all a bunch of stuff. Uh, what mod do you use for the wings? It is the plane parts. It is the plane parts mod. Alright, our shield here is ready. 600,000 health. The enhancer is on. The modulator is for kinetic protection. The emitter is good. I uh, should check our gasoline. 93%. We're, we're cooking. We're just wonderful. Uh, do you think you can use the ore processing station as a proper defense grid with few sea whiz and long range guns? Uh, I mean, I could commandeer it, but honestly, even just leaving it there as a neutral base is uh, proving to be effective. I just need to sail, like, drive around it so I don't have to uh, blow it up myself when I go past. Uh, my 203s currently are set to uh, one and a half kilometers, which I'll obviously increase once I get into range of the uh, the big boy, the enemy ship. Oh, I'm starting to. Uh, my MS are shooting down some of their shells. The disco balls. Oh my god, it's a light show. Oh, look at it. Can I not target them yet? There we go. Now I can. Whoa, hello. They're starting to fire stuff at me. But they are within range of my 203s, so... How about you, bastards? The hell are my is my shield not active? Shield up! Whoa! What the hell? I'm I'm losing wheels like crazy. I need to get into the water. I don't know what's going on with my shield. It's not functioning or something. We're still gonna go in. Our build and repairs are going crazy. They're repairing the, uh, the hits on the sides. I gotta check my shield here. Oh! Oh, oh I'm dead. Oh! The Marauder! Oh, it's clanging! Okay, I have uh, teleported inside the Marauder's underbelly. Oh, good, there's a hole I can get out. Into the combat bridge. Uh, it is grounded. I can't move. Oh, God. Everything is going horribly. I might be losing the Marauder. I can't maneuver. I'm not even sure to get the right frickin' things. Ah. Okay. 
out of there. If I still have something on the bridge left, I can target with. Front guns, are you not firing? Uh, where's my body anyway? I know my shield is actually going to be down now, because it's not functioning. But the fuck, man? Why wasn't my shield functioning? Oh, and I... Did I lose my table? Yeah, I lost my control table. Anyway, so I can't put my shield up anyway. So, uh... Fuck! <laughs> uh... Marauder is kind of uh, dead in the water right now. Why aren't these guns shooting? They're fine. They they should have ammo. I have tons of ammo. I just lost my bridge. <laughs> to hell, man. Oh. oh, we got about another half hour left in the stream. I guess we're going to cover the Marauder now. <laughs> Thought it would be working on the artillery base, but no, we're doing Marauder recovery. Uh, I think enough of the axles are still there that I can drive back if I just lift it up. I think I just need a couple pistons. Uh, there shouldn't be conduit damage to the front turrets. That would be amazing if there is. Um, where the heck am I? Okay, there we are. There's the Marauder. It, like, the conduits are buried deep in here. No, there's no way. Oh! Look, it is damaged! The, the conduit is broken! How? The, how? How? Oh, it went in right through here! It went... Dunk and wouldn't cut this. Oh my god. With Dunk and cut, tuck out my front uh, two turrets connection. I thought those were buried way too low. They weren't going to take any damage. The hell, man. Ah, okay. So I need... Uh, I need two pistons worth of stuff. I can actually drive back on like half built wheels, but I at least need to have wheels. See, Wiz wasn't firing. Yeah, I'd have to. I'll have to res. Stupid shield, man. It probably wasn't even functioning at all. Gotta get warranty on that thing. But, the enemy has shown that they are actually quite capable. They have, uh, knocked me down. Uh, piston. Piston. I'll just grab three. Just in case. Well, I thought I had it buried deep enough in. I just, I, I guess I just need some, uh, uh, additional armor down there. I haven't really had a big uh, loss in this series yet, but it shows you that I can actually uh, get defeated. Uh, okay. I need this to be balanced. I need... I already got some wheels on the right side. So all I need to do is lift up the front of the right. So we'll put this... Uh, somewhere here. We shall go... 
and go, 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 go. lock down like that and then piston and I'll do the same on this side how low is that one? yeah that was this low Place it. Shit. Uh, this one might. This side might be be a bit higher. It's all right. And then this can go here. Uh, reverse. Need to set that impulse high, so now it's gonna be able to lift. Boom! There we go. And then now this one should be high enough that I can place it here, right? That's the, yeah, that's the height I wanted on that side as well. And then these pistons. We'll be able to lift as well. And it's on jacks. Excellent. Get rid of this shit underneath of it. Inventory full. Inventory full. And uh, that shouldn't be in the way of placing a tire here. So we can just go into here and go wheels and go add. And even if they are not built up completely, it's enough to drive on. Alright, and now we can go for all the pistons and retract them. Just enough to drive on. Come on. And if we can get... Oh, are we going to float? That is a very good question. I might have to drive back instead of uh, float back. I don't have a projector on the ship. And besides, I'm too far away from uh, base to... Uh, use a projector to repair. I do still have the thrusters inside the um, boat here to uh, give it some forward momentum. But I wonder if we're pierced in all of our uh, flood areas. I just need to be able to turn. Come on. Actually, it doesn't really matter if it sinks or not, because I can just drive it along the ocean floor. It's actually really shallow in this area. Uh, 
I'm still on, I'm still touching the ground here. I'm not floating yet. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Do we have air tightness? We can just check the indicators. Here, no. Uh, forward section, yes, we do. And then the back section, no. So one out of three sections are still airtight. Is this enough to float? That is the question. Uh... Vaguely. Uh, but I can set up the program. Uh, uh, so this is going to stop. Because I lost my cockpit with all the stuff set up. And I can press the button and it will at least level me out. <laughs> So, I am equally low in the water here. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it sucks. We lost. We got our asses handed to us, unfortunately. We need to... Uh, Need to complete that artillery pace. <laughs> we got uh, approaching Navy Resupply Center acknowledged. Looks like they're back home. They are going to get essentially zero repairs because I probably didn't do any damage to them. Everything I did malfunctioned and was very sad. Although I did get to shoot down their eagle eye, which is nice. But. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, we're two hours and 13 minutes in. We'll get this back and we'll get this uh, with the projector on it starting to get some repairs and then we'll go and do a little bit more work on the artillery base and do another fire test. Uh, I'm thinking I kind of want to try to take out their one of their forward gun placements. Uh, the sky factory is still there. Minions. But the Sky Factory's the problem with that is that if I go and go for the Sky Factory, it's gonna have turrets. And if I try to fly up here with my helicopter, the turrets are gonna shoot me up. And it's if I try to fly up there as a person, it's gonna have a jetpack inhibitor, and I won't be able to jetpack up. So I'm not, I, I'm kind of tempted to wait until that runs out of gas, like wait, wait until it uh, runs out of fuel and drops. Uh, I'm using a lot of NPC mods. Uh, you'll have to just look in the, uh, the comments, like the, the comments, the, uh, if you look in the description of the videos of the series, there is a list and it's the season four mod list. So look there, it's way too many for me to go through. Um, I'm tempted to just leave that there until it runs out of power, and then when it runs out of power, and uh, it'll fall to the ocean, it'll be fine. It'll, uh, I'll can salvage that. Oh god, this thing's slow. Definitely needs more wheels. Uh, but at least um, my shield gen didn't die. It was just the control table. It's actually like almost all the blocks around the shield gen died. But it. Which is kind of nice. <laughs> at least I'll have to replace that thing. 
I do have a blueprint. We'll uh, we'll set that up here in a minute. I just got to get it out the blueprint again. I have to first bounce off a titanium tree and uh, pull back into the 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 base here. Build a projector on this thing. Align the blueprint and. Uh, Get it set up. Should just be have another minute of driving here. At least we're back home. We can take a left here. And I'm on f I'm full reverse right now, and I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm just barely slowing down. Now we're going backwards. Uh, warrior is back home. The building repair is starting to work on it. And uh, parked. Alright. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the building repairs on these and I'm going to turn them off because. I don't want them to be building while I'm setting the projector in the right location. So, build and repair for the factory off. And let's grab everything we need for the projector. And get it set up. God, the lag. Okay, we put it right here in the center of the ship. It's this orientation. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Alright. Projector. Blueprints. Marauder. I'm going to keep the projection. You know, you have to slide it around. So it looks like I need to go over two and down three. Something like that. Vert three, horizontal, over two. Build progress. There we go. 1492 out of 1598. Perfection. Uh, build and repair. See my build repair. Build repair. On. Get to work. And also, we shall position our shelves there. The shield wasn't in the blueprint. I'll have to put that back in manually. Uh, these build and repairs. For the factory. Turn them on. We're also going to show the area, and it's horizontal. Yeah, we'll push the horizontal out minus 30, so that way it covers the whole uh, Marauder area. But there's the cockpit all set back up. And there was the shield table that I needed. I'll put that table somewhere deeper. yet so I can fly through here. Actually, eh, it probably works here. Let's see, can I fit it somewhere um, in the second uh, 
level. And I guess I could just put it right down here, the other shield components. Make it a little bit safer. Oh, there we go. Where did my, pro did my programmable block get taken out? Oh, it did. Damn. Yeah, all my settings also got taken out there. No. I have to set this back up. Oh, it's got the zero zero limits on it. Okay, okay. I'll be able to do the repairs here. Oh, that's a bathroom. That's not a door. So. We need to jack this thing up. We got those two on the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off right here. I'm gonna repeat that in the back here. Grab some steel blade to do it. And get this thing fully jacked off off the ground. I might leave these jacks on it as well. Uh, also, that is looks like it's going to be in the way. How'd I do this on the phone? Also, it looks like my chat has died. Let me just refresh that. It was the before that first little bit. Oh, because I have the extra bit of uh, distance here for that piece. Ah, right, right, right. That's why it's not uh, exactly the same as back here. The wheel needs to go there. Uh, we can just put a single piston here. That'll be fine. We just need to get this off the ground enough that uh, we can uh, replace those. All the wheels on the left side and the right we're missing a couple on there actually just the one nice There we go, it's jacked up and getting, uh, aired. Might actually just, uh, leave those, um, pistons on it for a while. If they get shot off, whatever, if not, easy peasy, um, repairs in the future. But it's like it never happened. Look at that. It's it's just it's fine. This thing is fine. Uh I don't really need bigger wheels on this as they're supposed to be hidden uh below the um terrain when you're doing your boat activities. Uh looks like all of my engine I, okay, at least all my gas tanks didn't get hit. The gas tanks were safe. So that's something, at least. So we took damage here. We got hit through here and got this taken out. So I think maybe we need an armor... 
panel thing here. Uh, I am going to... I'm going to need to grab some armor plate. Uh, is there a hole there? Oh, no, it's just extra space. Okay. Let's go grab some armored plate and uh, make the wizard track to the hall that require way too much complicated machinery and would make the uh, hall not uh, sealed for um, uh, water mod. Yeah, I need an armor belt. I need some panels, man. Character tools, bop, uh, bop, and bop. And then all the heavy armor variants here. There we go. It's heavy armor time. Need, need more durability. That is for sure. Um, we can add some panels across here for some real cheap and easy additional durability. Although that's not going to cover everything. We need to get the stuff below, but I think I'll put those on the inside. Besides, hopefully, this is what they'll see when we're above the water and we'll be shooting at us there. Uh, added weight works the water mod. Uh, it should be fine. This thing has a fair amount of uh, flotation. If I add some, well, the, some more weight to it, it'll float a little bit lower, but it'll be fine. And I need to get inside this thing. I need to punch a hole through the side. I just need to go in through this. That's an engine right away. See, this is only half blocked engine. This isn't very good. This is not good. We need to. We need the panel. Oh, then there's paneling above. Oh, I can't add more panel down here, or at least very much. I can add s just a little bit more. That's unfortunate. God damn, I really have, like, not very good durability below the water line here. And is this... Part of the this should be part of the projection. Why isn't the projection going on to a uh, predictor? Huh. The heck? Why did this thing uh, not uh, have the marauder there? Come on, you still got shit to replace. Place those bits. I don't know it's going to be better right now. Honestly, it was just a, a failure of my shield. The upper superstructure is more durable than the lower below the water. And I think that's going to be okay, but it's just the, uh, the shield never really functioned. None of the shots were blocked, and so I didn't really get any... Uh, defense at all. So that is pretty much my issue. Uh one second, I'm just gonna I just wanna like teleport myself inside here just because I wanna spend all that time cutting away all my my bits of my boat. I can add in a fair amount of uh paneling here to increase this durability.
There we go. That's a big chunk of durability to add into this thing. And then back here, you can add in all along here. And honestly, we could just fill that in with a block up here. Just square off this room. I don't need this uh, little bit of uh, extra space. And I need more work Uh, where is my... My plate? Spending all my repair armor plate on uh, upgrades. I'll have to transfer some more plate over. Uh, downside is this back end. Really, I can't do much to it. I just gotta plunk my character here for a second. Uh, I can add more plate there. And I kinda just wanna fill this in like I did with the front half. And I'm gonna have to teleport myself around a whole bunch in order to get all these like tiny little bits properly done. This ship is too tight. Nothing fits. Past thrusters. Hello. And then there's. Ah, can't do anything here because this is all panel from the upper deck. So that's the back of the ship. Through the midsection, it's been layered. So we have an extra layer of heavy armor. Um, it's best I can do. And the front has been layered with an extra layer of heavy armor. Except for this section. I can do a little bit more here. Just a few more pieces. Because again, I can't do anything above the... Because uh, uh, of the heavy armor panels here. And that should be all I can really do to the Marauder to make it uh, more badass. Unless it actually had a freaking shield that functioned. Okay, shield. Where are your shields? Shield controller up. We want to see the shield. High reflective, always visible. And uh, we can shunt shields. We can shunt from the bottom. We need it to be daytime. There we go. The stuns will reverse. We should be good to go into our wheels now. And armor plates. We still have 131 left. We used up a lot of our uh, resources there. Uh, you can select the power scale to force it into a power scale, but if you just leave it as anything, it'll just uh, use the one that's best for the amount of power you have available, as far as I understand. Um, got the wheels. We're going to have the steering and the strength. Oh, this is not going to cover my new wheels. 
Yeah, they're not in a group. Left wheels need their new left wheel, and right needs the new right wheel. And wheels need to be all the wheels. to rock. We can move again. And just gotta get this shield tested. Could it be that the shield was down because I was within the other shield? And it wouldn't do a shield within a shield? And now, when I just left, my shield didn't come online properly? So I fully exited that shield. Eye reflective, always visible. Where is it? I don't see the always visible portion of the shield here. This makes me sad. wrong with the shield on this uh, thing. It's red. I don't know why it's red. Is it just f still charging? It's not up yet? Shield fit. It's in yellow now. When I bring it down to zero, it's orange. I don't know, shield fit 15, it's yellow. Experimental torpedo bomber requesting permission to land at supply yard. The shit? Torpedo bomber? That's no good. I need to kiss my gasoline. No. No gasoline tanks took damage. We're all still good on fuel. Okay. Let's go get this thing over to the uh, artillery base. And then once we get there, that'll probably be the end of the stream. Now that we've done a little bit of upgrades, a little bit of... Uh, Paris. The uh, the paneled up Marauder should be good to go. It bounces off a tree. God damn, 1.4 million kilos, and this thing bounces. I don't know what's wrong with my shield. It's blue now. It's probably just charging. Um, if anything, it's probably just because I have to like save and reload the game. Shield emitter off and on. Emitter off. On. Oop, shield initializing. I want to make a blueprint. <laughs> it's part of the fun is having an old blueprint and having to remember all the little upgrades you did.
about stuff tree. Shield integrity mode is on. Yeah? Isn't that good? I don't know about shield. The uh, emitter. Emitter is on. The modulator is balancing towards kinetic. Enhanced structural integrity. Shield model is you're bringing your hawk bar and then change the shield integrity. I don't know what that does, but fine. Uh, modulator. Uh, enhanced structural integrity? What? What, does that turn off the shield when I have that on? Oh my god. That's what's happening. Life is pure pain. So that's what was going on. I didn't even have my shield on. Ugh. Well, I'm going to leave that off permanently. I didn't know that was doing it. Uh, torpedo bomber, your shields work in the water as well. Should. Uh, uh, should work in the water. Star Trek server learned a lot about the shields. That is good to know. I don't know anything about shields. I just put the shields on and they make my ship not die. Now I can do the shield fit. I can tuck this thing in closer. Because I don't really want all the extra s excess space. I just want it to when my, she my ship gets hit itself. Oh, that's pretty too close. Uh, probably need to be about uh, five or eight here. I'll leave it. Let's say ten. Just make sure. Just so I got a good bubble. Transporter. Nothing to worry about. Too big? Too big sending it at 10? Does it actually affect my shield health a lot? It's got half a million health. What if I tighten it up? It's uh, better. Oh, it is a little bit better health. Uh, I'll set it to five then. I feel like I'm missing my wheels at the bottom, but that should be okay. It's just barely not getting my wheels down there. I wonder if there's... A, is there a way I can like take that shield and make it like beat downwards a little bit. Oh, I can set up a height offset. Uh, oh, there it is. Negative two width offset. Oh, there we go. That's better. Maybe just one more tick larger. Just for the safe side. Shield fit of six. That feels a bit better. I don't really have gigawatts of power on this thing. I only have 150 megawatts of power available on this behemoth.
four million HP. It's ridiculous. Oh, but man, I was I was thinking about shields. There is a pretty. It's it's kind of uh, a hotly debated thing. Shields and space engineers, where some people are like, no, they shouldn't be added. Yes, they should be added. Like, there's the conversation uh, back and forth. I like the aspect of shields where it's like I can get into some combat and I don't immediately have to do a bunch of repairs. Uh, but I also understand the uh, annoyance of it just becomes like a super slugfest if you have a 4 million HP shield, then it gets kind of an annoying to have to like chunk through that shield in order to actually do any damage. I had an idea of how to do a shield such that it wouldn't um, be too bad. Like, you could have a shield in Space Engineers and it could do what it needs to do for people who like the aspect of keeping their grids from being destroyed randomly, but then also make it so it's not too crazy so it doesn't um, become overbearing in PvP. The idea would be is that your shield is temporary. So you can activate a shield, but then it is like a timed thing. You have a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time, whether it be like you have this health and it slowly loses health during the uh, duration. Like, people, if you played something like um, Overwatch, and you know, like, Lucio does his thing and, like, gives everyone in the, the team shields for a short duration, but those shields degenerate over time. So, eventually, you lose them. So, it's a temporary health boost we do the same concept where it would be your your shields you press a button you get a bunch of shields but then they s fade away over the next minute or so and then it takes like a jump drive it takes several minutes to recharge and then you can press the shield again and get a bunch of shields for a short duration so that way, if you wanted to, you could say, have, uh, I'm knowing I'm going into combat, I'm going to go and sh attack this NPC base, I'm on my attack run, press the shields, do my attack run, shields are about to run out, peel away, run back, recharge, dive in again. So as a player, if you want to be in a situation where you are maintaining the integrity of your ship, you're not using random components for small amounts of combat, you can do that. But as a, uh, um, uh, ooh, close to the defense batteries there, Boys. as a long engaged battle, you can't keep it up all the time. Have something like 25% or so, um, upkeep. That was my idea. And I don't know how people feel about that. I thought it was a way you could have the uh, the shield and not be this stupid, overpowered, like millions of health behemoth. You would just have like a 30 seconds of invulnerability on a cooldown that lasts five minutes or something like that. Essential. Yeah, it would limit. Well, it would make hit and run ships have that ability that they would get a, a bonus to their hit and run of strength. But if you built a ship that could last past their shields' length, they wouldn't have any armor. And then you could just go to town on them, right? 
So I kind of feel like you could take it both ways. I don't know. It's just an idea. Just a random one. Coastal defense battery. There are all these different defense batteries. I gotta take a look at these. Once we get to the artillery base. Which... Do I have any water on this thing? I do! Excellent. I don't... Uh, won't uh, dehydrate once I get there. Also, I hope I don't flip here. <laughs> I'm kind of driving on a very uh, steep slope on a high center of gravity rover. <laughs> there we go. Let's get back flat. Let's go take a look at those coastal defense batteries once we get here, and then try to target one of them. God damn trees, man. I don't know how trees can be, like, this titanium strong in the game. It's ridiculous. And they did say that the Expanse is one of their, um, their, uh, inspirations for the game, for the combat. It was the Expanse and Battlestar Galactica, which both are fantasy... Um, like sci-fi uh, settings that don't have shields. They just have uh, jump drives and that's their sort of most sci-fi-y thing was the, the jumps. Other than that, it's just good old-fashioned big block of iron in space, which is essentially what battle, the Battlestar was bunch of guns and a bunch of armor. There's the artillery base. Alright, let's go plunk this thing down in the water. Okay. Bye, tree. Have a nice time. Oh, okay. I'm driving over that one. Eh, I guess right. The debris bomb nearby. I might as well just leave it right here on the coast. But at least I can broadside on the beach. Easy access to the water if I need to, but uh, not fully into it yet. Good boat. Stay. Okay, let's get some water and food off this thing, and... Uh, Put the uh, armor plate away. You can keep that. You are... 600,000 health. Okay, perfect. You should be fine now. And artillery base. You are... Pretty well built up. I mean, I was going to do work on the artillery base today, but it's... I've going for almost three hours and I need to stop and go to bed. But, we need to shoot the enemy at least once. We have a coastal defense battery, right? We'll shoot at one of those. To do that, I need targeting information. Uh, which means I kind of need to have the kind of Apache over here. But, oh! Oh, look at these! Dude, this is massively improved since the last time I've seen these things. 
How far are they? They're just like a, what, a single 500. God damn, those are powerful. What the fuck, man? Uh, shit. Oh, they added some defenses back here, too, from me uh, sneaking back there. Oh, my God. That's so, like, um, the feeling of having the cannon inside the uh, concrete structure like that, or at least, like, that looking thing. It's, like, totally World War II, like, coastal defense battery stuff. Feels good. Oh, they have so much. Um, <laughs> they have so much uh, anti-air on those. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There's so much anti-air now. It's they're, they're defending everywhere. There's even two right here. What the hell? How am I supposed to get through eight Seawiz with my artillery? You bastards. Okay. I wonder. Can I even take any of these again? Can I take any of these? Um. I need the kind of patchy over here, but. kind of don't have the uh, I don't have the time to go and get it properly so I'm going to cheat don't hate me for this <laughs> I just need to get the Katapachi over there so I can uh, do this <laughs> yeah yeah Plop. There we go. Hey, look, I got a, a helicopter delivery. Uh, I know that it does that. I know control space moves the grid with you when you're in spectator. I was afraid that doing that with a rotating like rotors on the kind of patch you would put into a death spiral. So I was kind of afraid that I was going to die if I did that. Hence, why I didn't. Alright, let's go see what we can do. Uh, we can also have here, we have the artillery control. Where's my ground? There it is. Uh, Open and cease. Now we're going to sit there. Their five hundreds have five kilometer range. I'm not mistaken. So we're going to sit about six kilometers out and uh, target up their first base there on the uh, the coast and see if we can get a good lock and try a uh, volley at them. I can't really. Okay. Whoa. We're just about five kilometers. Okay. We're actually slightly within five kilometers. I need to back off. Okay. The hell? Their signal disappeared. The Is it? still there, it's just their signal's gone. Now, I can't see it in terms of it's not rendering in. So we're going to have to just take a peek with Spectator to get an idea of where it is. So there's the white there, the white there is literally in between them. So, he's literally right. Oh, I can, my cursor turns red when I'm aiming at it. When I'm aiming at the grid. Yeah, there's a grid there, and there's a grid there. So if I press target, the guns should 
have moved. And they should be aiming there. Uh, just to confirm, I'm just going to whip my gun, whip my aim over here real quick. I'm going to target. Okay, good. We are functioning. Uh, f completed? No. Functional? Somewhat. Okay, artillery is moving into position. We want the low trajectory. Helicopter is gaining altitude. From the helicopter, we can see what it looks like to fire. Oh, look at the shells underneath me. Look at them go. Oh, that looks so good. I gotta watch the effects as they land. Shells are coming in. Massive overshoot, but oh my god, look at all of that in. Yeah, that was a massive overshoot. We are hitting here, which is a full, like, 1.3 kilometers too far. So, what we should be able to do is in our... Okay, 1.3 kilometers. What we should be able to do is because the uh, the targeting script also allows you to control the artillery with any arguments you give it, we should be able to go and say to this program, back a thousand. And if I run that, these guys should move. Yes! Okay, they're good to go. And they're set. And we can take another volley. Back into the helicopter and watch those shells fly in. See, this, this is cool. This is what I wanted out of artillery and space engineers. I didn't want frickin' uh, whatever like the current artillery is. I wanted indirect fire over kilometers. Almost just slightly too long. Okay, okay, okay. If that was one kilometer, this looks about correct. We'll maybe bring it back about 20, 30 meters, and we're good. Artillery targeting back 20 meters. Hmm. Not 100. I think that's a little too much. We'll do 50. 50. Back 50. And then I think we can just open fire one more test salvo, and then after that lands, we can go full on um, firepower. Also, going to check my helicopter. We're still flying. We're actually getting really high up. Where's my shells? There they are. There we go. Coming in on the shells. Oh, this is looking good. Look at the light show! Direct hits! Okay. We're good. Uh, this is... Ready to fire. Just commence firing. And let's just... Put, put it down range. Take a look from the helicopter. There's two volleys out heading towards them. They need to reload and then they're going to fire another three volleys. I believe it is their uh, their cycle. When these ones are just about landing, the next volley should come out. There's the next volley's coming.
So the next three are in the air, right? At least some of them. God, those sea was are loud. Excellent. Take your artillery fire. Battle stations, battle stations. Sparrow inbound. Sparrow? I don't see a sparrow. What is that? 60 kilometers away. Enemy signals directly below me. What the heck? Oops. Something on the, the other side of the planet. Are they trying to fire at me? I don't know. But I think I might have run out of ammunition. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll tell them to cease firing. Uh... I think I've hit my flight ceiling as well, my three kilometers high. And we can head back to base. Yeah, I don't know if they're trying to counter battery, but I think that was a very successful test. I think what we need to do is get some more uh, two or three ammunition. We need to make a ton of that. The base is still first and functional. We need to uh, finish setting up the defenses at the base, get a little bit of anti-air, and a little bit of sea whiz for anti for any possible counter battery. And probably fill that large car container with, uh, with artillery shells. It'll be good. Whoa, 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 there was a... Oh, something's there. Oh, yeah. There's a there's an enemy plane. It's a good thing that we're getting out of the sky really quickly here. And it's a good thing we got the Marauder here to defend us. Lost contact with Bunker. Bunker Echo. Did I defeat a bunker? I don't think I did that much damage to it. It'd be awesome if I did. Here we are. I should probably not fly that close to the uh, the plane. Don't want to have my uh, wingtips clip. And down. Kind of patchy. You are awesome. But I th uh, this has got to be where I got to end it. Uh, it is quite late for me right now. I need to go to bed. So, uh, I didn't really get what I wanted to do at the outset of the, uh, the stream done. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't really do much work at all to, uh, this artillery base. My, my title is a lie, but we did have the Marauder get defeated because of my ineptitude with the shields. And uh, we managed to do a successful field test, and it looks like we did some damage to an enemy bunker at long range. Oh, oh, look at what we did. There's some stuff burning here. I like it. So, we have the capability of reaching the enemy base from our position. 
and we have the ability to dial it in. Um, what it looks like is that pretty much any th long range uh, shot I take, I have to bring back about a kilometer of the range before it's uh, correct. So I can just pre-correct a kilometer back. That should be good. But I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, they've broken off. We are at an uneasy uh, stalemate right now. I will do some more work on this in the off camera. I'll get it fully loaded with ammo, get it fully coated with armor, and have this base uh, ready to rock come the next episode. Which, in the next episode, we'll retrofit the fighters, like the different things I captured, to um, use as distractions to send in against their uh, various anti air defenses and such. And then we'll do our triple pronged assault of artillery, battery on their main base, the fighters going in to distract, and the marauder going straight down their throats to uh, do the targeted attacks. But that is going to be it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.